one external fuel tank. Over a 10-year span, five orbiters were built, including the test vehicle named Enterprise and the four space orbiters, Columbia, Discovery, Atlantis, and Challenger. On April 12, 1981, after years of testing and construction, the first shuttle, Columbia, reached orbit piloted by astronauts John Young and Robert Crippen. The first four shuttle flights were collectively called the Orbital Flight Test Program and demonstrated how the spacecraft performed under real spaceflight conditions. During these first four flights, NASA tested the shuttle as a launch vehicle, habitat for crew members, freight handler, instrument platform, and aircraft. After the fourth landing, NASA declared the shuttle ready for operation. Since that time, the shuttle program has performed well over 100 missions and has accomplished a number of monumental achievements. In June 1983, Sally Ride became the first American woman in space. The shuttle launched the Magellan spacecraft to Venus, the Galileo spacecraft to Jupiter, and the Ulysses spacecraft to study the sun. The shuttle also has deployed the Hubble Space Telescope, the Gamma Ray Observatory, and the Upper Atmosphere Research Satellite. Another key milestone came in 1998 when astronaut John Glenn, the first American to orbit the Earth, returned as the oldest man ever to reach space as a member of the crew of Discovery on a nine-day mission. The shuttle has also been instrumental in constructing and outfitting the International Space Station while also being used to carry large payloads to and from orbit and perform servicing missions on satellites. The design, now approaching its third decade, is still state-of-the-art in many areas, including computerized flight control, airframe design, electrical power systems, thermal protection system, and main engines. Even though the sophisticated shuttle program suffered the devastating losses of the Columbia and the Challenger, its successful missions have made great strides in space travel and exploration during its short history. More than 100 documented NASA technologies from the space shuttle are now incorporated into the tools we use, the foods we eat, and the biotechnology and medicines used to improve health. Although plans are now in the works to retire the fleet, the space shuttle program will forever hold a special place in the history of space travel, not only for its unique design, but for the history and technologies it brought to all of us. Even though the space shuttle will eventually be phased out, NASA planners still hope to use the proven shuttle main engine and booster technology on next generation vehicles. Our final story focuses on the advent of GPS. In recent years, the GPS receiver has been one of the most useful tools for professional pilots, drivers, and seafarers. These receivers use geospatial data to identify geographic locations and characteristics of natural and man-made features on the Earth. These receivers are also being used by hikers, golfers, and fishermen for recreation purposes. However, many people who use this technology still don't know exactly how it works. Our Johnny Alonzo finds out how this complex system helps keep many of us on track and on schedule. 